Welcome to Little Spirit Productions. We have several packages of Happy Mail to open today. So we're going to start with this really big one right here first. It's a heavy one. I want to make sure, you know, get this one out of the way. And last month, we ordered several Harry Potter Legos. Oh, there we go. Thank you, Mom. I have my mom's sparkle soap test helping me today. And this was on back order. Let's see if I can get it out of this box. Oh, this is heavy. Can you get it? Yeah, well, let me get to the other side. <laughs> It'll be easier. There we go. Mm. So we had to wait for them to get this one back in stock to send it to us. That's just a packing slip in box. Just want to make sure what anything important that you needed. I mean, in the video. Nope. There we go. That's the fun part. You need a box out of a box out of a box. <laughs> there we go. So, we have this. And this is a very big Lego. Let me fix my cloth here. There we go. And this is the Lego Harry Potter kit number 71043. That's actually the back of it. Turn this over. And this is definitely very heavy. For one thing, it's got 6,020 pieces. And this is the Hogwarts Castle which is nearly two feet uh, tall. It's 22 inches tall, I think 27 inches one way and 16 inches the other way. So that's gonna be a very big Lego once it's put together. Now, um, one thing it does have is 24 mini figures. They're one dot big instead of two dots like a normal uh, mini fig. They're micro mini, I think is what David called them. So there's a bunch of mini figs to go in the castle all over the place. So it's down there. Okay. Yeah, it's got four um, of the main characters in regular mini fig size. And then, does it show on the side? No. No, okay. It shows here. I can get this thing moved around. Right, right here, it shows the micro mini figures and different people. Um, the pink one, I know that's Umbridge. <laughs> this one right here. Yeah. So this is one of the Legos, one of our Harry Potter uh, sets that we've recently purchased that we will not be putting together for a while because we want to get to a more permanent location a house or apartment or something where we can put that together and then it won't have to be moved in a vehicle because you know putting something 3d together like that it's not going to stay together if we have to move it <laughs> get this out of here and that first package was 22 pounds thank you mom so that was a very heavy package this one, let's see, this one says, get the magnifier, I can't read it. This one's only 12 pounds. So it's nearly half, a little bit over half the weight of the other one. But this is another of the Legos that we ordered back in November that was on back order. So this completes our order. I think we ordered, um, like 11 different Harry Potter Legos. Mm. Mm. Thank you, Mom. Mm -hmm. And this one, of course, that's the pack. <laughs> this is the Hogwarts Icons Collector's Edition. This is kit number 76391. 
and it has 3,010 pieces. So it's half the pieces and about half the weight of the castle. And if I remember right, the uh, wings, some of the wings on the owl move. Um, it's got little potion bottles. I think this, uh, the certificate for uh, being accepted into Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Witch Wizardry, I can't talk. Um, you can actually put your name down here on this with like a, a Sharpie pen. So that's pretty cool. I love this collection. I'm, I'm very excited about putting all of these Harry Potter Legos together eventually. And we will do videos of putting them together, of course. But that is the end of our Harry Potter uh, collection for now, as far as getting them in the Happy Mails. Our next couple packages are from Reddit Gifts from, for me. This first one says Shutterfly on it. Can't see half of the label because they got the sticker from the UPS store. I'm not sure which Reddit gifts this is, but it does have my nickname on it. Let's see. Metal ornament gift tag. So this is my ornaments Reddit gifts. Okay. And it comes in this cute little bag right here. It says Shutterfly on it. Oh. I don't know how they found that, but that's one of the pictures of me and Chester in the truck. And he was sleeping with his head right next to mine. That is so cute. I love that. Oh, I'm going to hang that in the truck. That is awesome. And then it came with this little red ribbon right here. I love that. that, is, <laughs> that is, that's a keepsake for sure. Yes. Reddit Secret Santa Ornaments 2021 Finale. That's what it says on the back. That is awesome. I love that. There is my Ornaments Reddit Gifts. And then this other package is also a Reddit Gifts for me. David only signed up for one Reddit Gift uh, exchange this time. He did the Secret Santa, which we've already received and opened that. I don't remember what he got though. I don't either. Probably a Lego. Hmm? <clears throat> Probably a Lego. Yeah. Uh, not both. Oh, right? this is my wool or my um wool. Yeah. Calendar. My calendar. So this Ooh. is my calendar exchange. Wolves, of course. And there's the back with the pictures for each month. I'm thinking we might try to figure out how to hang this in the truck. I don't know yet. Don't really have a lot of places that we can put a full-size calendar in the truck that's not going to be in the way or falling off or something like that, but we'll figure that out. So that's gorgeous. I love that. And I actually signed up for four different Reddit gifts exchanges this time. The calendars, ornaments, the holiday card, which I haven't received yet, and the Secret Santa gift, which I have not received yet. So here is our next package. The Essential Mattress. Sweet dreams are made on these. So that's what it says on the box. And let's see, yep, it does say Right here in this corner, it says bark. Guess what? A while back, let me really think a while back, we ordered some stuff from BarkBox, and we ordered enough as a, a certain amount that you had to uh, spend on other stuff, and then they send you a free dog bed. Now, I'm not going to take this out of the package right now because it's one of those that once you take it out, you're never going to get back in that box, but it's a dog bed for gesture. Um... I think this is folded in half, so it's not, you know, this wide. I think it's double. But um, once we decide to open this, we'll figure that out. Um, doesn't really say how big it is on this. But this is a free dog bed that we got. Unpack and unroll. Ask your dog for help. <laughs> He'll help, all right. 
Let the memory foam fully expand. It's a memory foam dog bed for gesture. It may take 24 to 72 hours. It's worth the wait. Zip the cover closed, bed made. Sleep happily ever after. Sweet dreams are made on these. That's what it says on the inside of the box. And then on the side, made for dog people, for dogs and their people. Dogs aren't pets, they're family. We completely agree with that sentiment. Uh -huh. Hmm? Uh -huh. uh, they deserve the good life and the best stuff. If you have questions, concerns, or just want to talk about your dog, let us know. And then they have an email and a website address on the side of the box. And, of course, we spoiled Jester a lot. So here's something that we ordered. I don't remember what this one is. So we're going to open this one up. Ah, yeah, I forgot about this. Chunkin' Pie. It's a treat for Jester. And there's six pieces in there. You won't get them all at once, but we will video him getting these. Kind of like we did for the advent calendar that we just finished the other day. But uh, let's see, does it say? I can't read it, text is so small. But there's uh, six pieces, and you shouldn't give the whole thing to your dog, just one piece at a time, maybe every couple days or something, because you don't want to get any fat. But there's a special treat for gesture. There's the first of the special treats. We should have another one in this next box coming up. He is so spoiled. <laughs> another big box. Art box, of course. I'm expecting to see. It might be in this box because this is a bigger spark box than usual. Okay. Oh, we got two bark boxes in here because one of them is a extra bark box that we purchased for Gesture. And I'm going to go ahead and open these because he's still down in the truck with David. I don't know if they if he's awake yet. Ah. This is what I was expecting to see. We did one of these last year for Jester. It's a ginger bark house that we put together and then Jester destroys and eats. And I think I did put that video up on our channel when I first started. Um, but we're going to do a little bit better of videoing that this time. And he loved it last year. Question, is it like a gingerbread house? I don't know what the ingredients are, but yes, it's just like putting together a regular gingerbread house with, you know, the, um, I think it's yogurt, it's dog safe yogurt that you use to put the pieces together. Cool. And um, last year it was uh, little treat bones and treat pieces that you decorate the house with. He is so spoiled. <laughs> So this bark box, there it is, is Marvel Studios Spider-Man No Way Home themed. So there's that. And then, let me show you this. Let me show some of the toys that are in this theme. And then back, let's see, Daily Bugle Spider Dog Caught on Camera. I love their themes. They're so cute. So there's that. And then for the toys, Spider-Man Ball it features natural rubber. He prefers the rubber to the nylon toys. Spot clean only. Do not use dishwasher. BPA free. Squeaker to tingle your dog's squeaky senses. <laughs> He loves squeaker toys and wacky bounce. And then this one. This is Strange Treat Dispenser. 
see-through rubber, glow in the dark, dishwasher safe, BPA free, perfect for peanut butter. You can put peanut butter on this. It's got texture to it. Uh, treat dispensing. You put treats in the holes and then I guess cover up the holes with peanut butter to keep them in there. Um, and that's it for the features. So here's this one. Must be a lot of peanut butter to fill those holes. <laughs> no, you just cover the hole. You put a bunch of treats in there. Mm -hmm. And you cover all the holes with a little bit of peanut butter so the treats don't just fall out. Probably about, you... what, a tablespoon of peanut butter to yeah. cover the hole, maybe? Depends on how many treats you put in there. If you, you stuff it with treats, mm -hmm. you just need to put a little bit layer right here of the peanut butter. Yeah. But there's texture. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. Mm-mm. Yeah, it's kind of difficult to see that because it's all the same color. And the last toy in this bark box is another little frisbee toy. This one, high flying web, natural rubber ring, spot clean only, not dishwasher safe, BPA free, ballistic nylon, that's what the cloth material is, and pose and play. We want pictures, pictures of your hashtag super chewer. So that's that one. That would be cool for the dog park. Yeah, definitely. Throw it and have him run. Yep, because that's kind of like a Frisbee. Yeah. And it's got this hard ring right here that he can grab onto with his teeth. And there's a little dog park down the street from Mom's Motel that we need to go down, take Jester with us, and we've got a couple of things for him to play with there. But we've been so busy with everything else to do. And you're here only for a limited time this time. Yeah. Um, we got here Saturday afternoon, Christmas Day, and we'll be leaving tomorrow, Tuesday, the 28th. So we came home to surprise Mom. She didn't know we were coming home. Nope, I thought they were in Ohio. <laughs> okay, so the two bags of treats, Spidey Bites, Friendly Neighborhood Dog Treats, Lamb Recipe. So there's that one. And then Spidey Bites with sweet potato, blueberries, and cranberry. And he gets a few treats a day, usually for when he comes back from potty. He gets in his house, which that's what he's supposed to do, and he sits, and then he whines, and then he gets two small treats. Every time he goes out, that's his routine. Um, other times during the day, depending, he might get extra treats, but usually that's when he gets his treats every day. Uh, and then we got two chew sticks. They're the same one, same recipe, same uh, flavor. Pumpkin and honey recipe. Oh, they're still doing pumpkin, huh? Yep. <laughs> well, this is the this, uh, December bark box. And why do you get the super chewer box? I, we get the super chewer box because Jester loves to destroy toys. He will quickly destroy almost any toy out there, regardless of how strong it is. Even the super chewer toys, he has quickly destroyed some of them within a few minutes. So the stronger the toy, the better, the longer it lasts for him. And there's been a couple that he does destroy quickly that he shouldn't have. And we contact BarkBox and we tell him, you know, this toy didn't really stand up to gesture to our dog and they make it right and they send us another toy, a different toy that will stand up to him better. That's one of the reasons I really love BarkBox. They go out of their way to make sure that not only dog parents, but the dog itself, themselves, is happy with everything that they get in their bark boxes. So this one, actually this is the December bark box. That was the extra bark box that we bought. Um, this one is the Christmas theme. No wonder he's so spoiled. All those <laughs> treats he gets every month. <laughs> yep. So this one is Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer theme. And then the inside of the insert, it tells more about the theme, the toys, usually the... Uh, models that they use which i don't see any dogs on this one so there's that and then we got 
We always get three toys. We actually paid um, a little more when we started doing this to get three toys, two bags of treats, and two chew sticks in every bark box. Oh, this one is Rough and Tumble Bumble. Two layers of play, and it's got the cloth covering, which once he starts chewing that up and tearing it apart and everything, we'll have to cut that off. But then the hard ball inside is the second toy that he'll get to keep and chew on and play with. Wacky Bounce, spot clean only, not dishwasher safe, BPA free, fabric layer, which we don't exactly like the fabric layer, but you know we don't let him play with his toys without supervision because that's just safer. And you know once he starts chewing this, we got to take it away. Uh, there is a squeaker in this one. That's cool. I was just getting ready to ask. Right? <laughs> he loves his squeaker. Oh yeah. He loves all squeaky toys. He just squeaks them all day. <laughs> and then we got to put him up at night so he doesn't squeak them all night. Keep us awake. <laughs> and natural rubber core. The inside toy inside the cloth is rubber, which he prefers those. They're easier on his teeth, not as hard as the nylon toys. So this looks like a little abominable snowman. Mm -hmm. So that's cute, and it's really fuzzy. He's got a little mohawk right here. <laughs> that's cute. <laughs> She's gonna love that one. And then this one, get the tag off. This one is Reindeer Games Rudolph. Two layers of play. Of course, it's got the cloth, the ears and all that, so he can chew on the ears and once he gets tearing this one apart, just like the snowman, we'll have to tear, uh, cut it off and then give him the rest of the toy to play with for a while. This one is dishwasher safe, BPA free, perfect for peanut butter. Now I don't know, I don't think they're talking about putting peanut butter on the cloth part, but maybe after you cut off the cloth part, you can put peanut butter on the inside ball. Natural rubber core and treat dispensing. Ooh. That's a first. That's cool. I've never seen one of these cloth covered toys that ends up being a treat dispensing toy. Interesting. Now I can't wait for him to chew it off so I can see the inside of the ball. Exactly. The inside toy. Yeah, it's so cute though. It's Rudolph. Yeah. Off. <laughs> You'll have to show it after you yep. get the Rudolph part off. I wish I had a community tab. I could post pictures of this stuff. Yeah. Okay, and the third toy in this bark box. Kept it tag off without cutting myself there we go nope I didn't get it there we go okay this one Sam the snowman natural rubber oh goody all of his toys this time are rubber not nylon spot clean only not dishwasher safe BPA free not friendly squeaker they're all squeakers and wacky bounce. Wacky bounce because of the shape. The different. Let's see. He does, yeah, he does have a face. Just like a kid at Christmas. Gotta have the noise. Yeah, definitely. So that's cute. And different uh, textures and shape and everything. That's why he's gonna have a wacky bounce. But I love his toys this time. And then we have Clarice's Cookies Cheese Recipe with Chickpeas. Interesting. There's one bag of treats. And then the other one, Dolly's Delights Turkey Recipe with Mixed Berries. Okay. And their treats are not grain-free, which grain-free is bad for dogs apparently. And the chew sticks are the same as the other box, pumpkin and honey recipe. <laughs> I hope he likes pumpkin and honey because that's, he just got four of those. <laughs> but that is it for the bark boxes. He is so spoiled. <laughs> he deserves to be, he's my grandson. <laughs> or as most uh, grandparents would say, grandpup. Yeah. Well, I think you're biased though. Very. <laughs> There's your last one. Okay, we got one more package. Trying to get this. Yeah. Okay, this is our last package. And this is technically for David. 
slash Wolf Spirit Transportation, our trucking company. Now, a couple months ago while we were home, for whatever reason, I don't know, David didn't have his keys on his pants, on his belt loop, like he usually does. And I had asked him before I got out of the truck, do I need my keys? And he said, no. Well, the door was locked, the door closed, and then we're both like, oh no, neither of us have our keys. We got locked out of the truck. So we had to call a locksmith out and this is what they use to get into the truck. Basically the same thing. I don't know if it's a, the same brand or whatever, but this is what uh, the type of deal that the locksmith used to get into the truck. And we got two of these. You put them uh, next to the hinge on the door. I think it's the hinge. Uh, I'll have to ask David later. But you put them between the door and the truck. It's really narrow right here. So you can slip it in there. And then you air it up with this thing right here. And it'll, it's like an airbag. They'll kind of move the, the metal of the door away a little bit. So you can reach in there and grab the handle and then you can open your door. So we will not get locked out of the truck again. We just have to figure out where to put these on the outside of the truck for safekeeping in case we need them. So that is it for a happy mail this time. If you like this video, make sure you give us a thumbs up, share the video with your friends, leave us a comment down below and let us know what your favorite piece of our happy mail was this time. Have you ever been locked out of your car? Maybe something like this would help. Or have you had to break into your car to get back into it if you got locked out? <laughs> Mom's nodding over here. Have you done any Legos? Let us know. Uh, what's your favorite Lego? What's your favorite piece of our Happy Mail? We've got a few packages this time. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and mash that uh, bell icon so you'll get notifications when we upload new content which will be at least one new video every week. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.